NDK changed my life in ways that I could never imagine. This is our first time here showing at NDK. I have to say, this has been amazing so far. It was so much fun. I met the best people. So the, the first thing that I did when I made this was submit. NDK was great just because of all of the media attention that it gets, but also sort of their mission statement to bring different types of indie games out and to showcase different types and different levels of indies. The biggest thing that drew me to IndieCade was just how open they were to uh, different types of art forms. I really appreciate the, the work they do to kind of bring indie games of all sorts into the public eye. What drew us here really is just the way that they champion kind of the oddities out there. There's other game events and I love them all, but IndieCade is special to me because that was the first place where they really recognized my work. There's like lots of cool art games here. Uh, and this kind of being like a non-standard game, IndieCade is kind of like a, a nice home for it. I'm a big supporter of independent games because I feel that it's where you have the most room for expression and experimentation and really pushing the genre forward. So the most important single factor for our curations is innovation. Work that shows us new stories you can tell with games, new interactions you can put in games, or new things that we don't even think are games that actually are games. Like anything, the forefront keeps moving, you know? We keep going forward and we keep showing new things. So we're all about like ourselves marching forward and bringing the industry along with us. If you look at new tech like uh, virtual reality or iOS or augmented reality, what you find very quickly is that the most interesting things being done with these new technologies are being done by independent developers. We really feel that it helps uh, a lot of independent game developers like us be able to showcase our game and our creation. I flew here from a small town in Texas. There's no game development community. I didn't know how to do games. I, I was just an artist. But when I got to Indicate East, I met my people, John and Hinaro. And because I met these people here, I was able to make borders. I was able to make something that was in my head come true. And Indicate is the, really the reason I was able to become a game developer. I think that Indicate is uh, very good at exploring the kind of outer edges of uh, what's happening in indie games. I think the people that run IndieCade are really great and I think there's a lot of energy and excitement to support independent developers. Everyone from the staff to the other developers is just awesome. I've been going back and talking to people from the early days. So many of them are still really connected with us. I think what makes IndieCade a really valuable part of the indie community is their ability to like organize effectively and highlight what they feel is interesting in any given year with a breadth and sort of depth that sometimes other festivals don't have. It brings media attention, it brings fan attention, but most importantly, if you go around, you know, we're a VR horror experience, but next to us there's a game about crossing the border. Next to us there's an art experience exploring someone's childhood. It's such an amazing breadth of experiences that uh, we're happy to be a part of.